My name is Peter Ackland and I'm the Chief Executive of the International Agency for the Prevention of Blindness, IEPB. And I'm here today to tell you a little bit about what IEPB does. So IEPB was founded 40 years ago. We're a membership organisation. We have over 150 organisations around the world who are a member. Most of the big uh, organisations working on our health are our member. And our mission is to eliminate avoidable blindness from the world. And at IPB, we're very passionate about eliminating avoidable blindness. We think it's not very good, really, that there are more than 280 million people in the world who are blind or visually impaired, and 80% of them don't need to be. So what does IPB do? Our main focus is around three areas. Advocacy, knowledge and promoting collaboration between the many actors who are working in the eye health world. So I wanted to just tell you a little bit about each of those three things. Let me start with advocacy. One of the things that IPB has been doing for many years is working very closely with the World Health Organization. In 1999 we launched the Vision 2020 program. And this brought together all the main actors in the eye health world and gave them a common purpose and a common approach. Since then, there's been a number of resolutions. The most recent one was passed in 2013 and it included an action plan. And that's called Universal Eye Health, a Global Action Plan 2014 to 2019. And that really sort of lays out the main sort of approach that we and WHO and countries should adopt in trying to eliminate avoidable blindness in their country. And that brings me on to a second area of focus for our advocacy work. IPB has been very involved in the Sustainable Development Goals and trying to make sure that there is a stake for eye health in those goals. I'm sure most of you know about the SDGs. Uh, 17 goals, 169 targets, but there are three of those which are quite relevant for eye health. Uh, one is goal three, a target 3.3, which is about the elimination of neglected tropical diseases. So that includes trachoma and onchocerciasis, river blindness. 3.8 is around universal health coverage. And I think we all know probably that one of the big limitations in our world is the lack of trained personnel who are able to deal with eye health problems, particularly at community level. So these are opportunities which are within the Sustainable Development Goals, which at IAPB we are trying to, to promote. So how does that actually help you at country level? Well, every country should have a national plan for eye health in response to the global plan. Every country is having to uh, provide to the UN a plan of how it will implement the SDGs in its country. And most countries have got work, work, health workforce development plans. So let me turn to the second key area of IPB's uh, work, which is around knowledge. So with so many members working with so many partners all around the world, we get to see lots of good examples of what works well in different places and it's about sharing that knowledge amongst all our members and other stakeholders. So we've developed two resources which um, I just want to talk to you about today. The first one is the Vision Atlas and this is a resource uh, you can go on white line and see it and basically it's got three main components. The first bit is all around the prevalence and the estimates of blindness and visual impairment. And you'll see in there data for the global, for regional, but also for your country. The second area in the Vision Atlas is around the Global Action Plan indicators. So for each country in the world, we've collected how they're performing against those key indicators. And again, you can go in, look at your country and see how your country is doing against those very important uh, milestones of progress. And the third area is we've, not, we've managed to get a number of articles specially commissioned 
to focus in on topical issues of the day around eye health. The second area that uh, we, I wanted to talk about was the standard list. So IPB standard list of drugs, equipment and consumables is also available online. And if you go into that, you'll see a number of essential lists telling you all about the equipment and what you need to run an eye health service. There'll be product recommendations. So for each piece of equipment that you need, we will make a recommendation. All the products on the site are good quality and recommended by us, and it's based on many years of experience of procuring these pieces of equipment. And the standard list also has videos and information about procurement generally and what equipment does. Finally, let me turn to collaboration, and this is a really important part of IPB's work. With so many different organisations working in the area of eye health, in so many different countries, it's really important that people know what each other's doing and preferably join forces and work together uh, to achieve a sort of common goal at country level. So IPB does a number of things to make sure that happens. Every four years we have a big general assembly. We, in 2016 we had one in Durban, the next one will be in New Zealand in 2020. In intervening years we have a council meeting and we try and choose a country where there will have been some impact of us being there uh, and try and bring everybody together, together with the government and national stakeholders to talk about eye health in that country. We produce a number of publications to share what people are doing. You can find that on our website. Thank you for listening and I wish you good luck with the rest of the course.